Hello everyone, this is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black, the one and only, here with another exciting video, and in this video, I'm going to be playing some AI Dungeon 2. Some AI Dungeon 2. Let me start up the 30 minute timer for this AI Dungeon 2 video. Okay, the timer has started. Uh, in today's video, I'm going to try and defeat Monk Mao in his Hellfire Bow using my Divine Shield. Can I do so in 30 minutes or less? Let's find out. I am Master Tam, and this is my apprentice, Monk Mao, greets Master Tam. You bow and reply. Greetings, Master Tam. It is an honor to train under you. Have you heard of the Shield of the Armor of God? Asked Master Tam. It is a magical shield that one can manifest from their faith in God. It is said to be able to deflect the flaming arrows of demons, as stated in Ephesians 6.16. You answer, That is correct. Monk Mao is holding a hellfire bow. Observe, says Master Tam. Monk Mao fires the hellfire bow at a reinforced steel door, and a blazing demon arrow melts right through it. Divine shields like the shield of the armor of God. Divine shields like the shield of the armor of God are the only shields that can deflect demon arrows, states Master Tam. Wait, so does that mean that there are other types of divine shields? You ask. Yes, as stated in two Peter one four, we all have a divine nature. If you state that you have faith in your divine nature. You can summon a magical shield of your divine energy, answers Master Tam. What would be the point of using your own divine shield rather than using the shield of the armor of God, you ask? Everyone's divine nature is unique, so everyone's divine shield has unique attributes. While the shield of the armor of God can defend against demon arrows, other divine shields possess additional abilities, answers Master Tam. Really? You say? Yes, really. Today, you will be summoning your divine shield and learning what unique attributes your divine shield has. Step in front of Monk Mao, declare your faith in your divine nature, and summon your divine shield, says Master Tao. What happens if I fail to summon my divine shield, you ask? Then you'll be incinerated by a demon arrow. Your goal is to use your divine shield to defeat Monk Mao and his hellfire bow answers Master Tam. Monk Mao gives you a serious look. You take a deep breath. <sighs> Today, you'll either learn the attributes of your divine nature or literally die trying. Then the AI filled in. This is so cool, exclaims your friend Jane. You give a small smile. You walk about five meters away from Master Tam and Monk Mao before you turn to face them. I'm ready. You say, oh goodness. Okay, I'm double checking to make sure I started recording and then I started the timer. Uh, let's hop into the adventure. Uh, so I'm going to declare, hmm. I have faith in my divine nature. And with this faith, I summon my divine shield. Okay, so let's see if this works. If it fails, I'm just going to get hit by this demon arrow and die. It went straight through a reinforced steel door. <laughs> so my divine shield better be strong. You close your eyes and focus on your faith in... You're not sure what, but you focus on it and bring up a magical shield around you. You hear a sizzle sound followed by an anguished scream. You open your eyes and notice a horribly charred figure lying nearby. Hmm. I'm going to ask... Who got hit by the arrow? <laughs> it seems like it deflected the arrow and then it like hit somebody else. <laughs> who, who did it hit? I didn't actually expect that. You bring your magical shield up and deflect a flying arrow. After a few moments, you hear the anguished scream of a horribly burned victim. His cries of horrible pain are soon silenced. I'm going to say, well, I guess I need to direct my question. I'm going to ask uh, Monk Mao, 
who is getting hit by these arrows? <laughs> I'm just trying to deflect them away from me. I'm not trying to kill anyone. Yeah, <laughs> this, this is actually really unfortunate. I didn't expect it to go this way. So... It is a necessary sacrifice to defeat the enemies of God, exclaims Monk Mao. As you think about this, you notice four more flying arrows. You move your shield in front of you and try to deflect the arrows off at an angle. Hmm. You think to yourself, if I want to make sure that none of these arrows hurt anyone, then I need to do one of two things. I either need to find a way to deflect the arrows back at Monk Mao, or figure out what my divine attributes are and harness those into a special ability that my shield can use to make the arrows not hurt anyone. Yeah, so this is actually like an interesting problem. Like you're already in a situation where you're like, if I mess up, I'll get hit with an arrow and like incinerated. But now I'm in a situation where it's like, oh no, I'm accidentally like hurting other people by mistake. How am I gonna like solve this problem and beat the guy who's shooting the arrows at me? You quickly begin to feel overwhelmed as you attempt to deflect the arrows. You think about how you need to figure out how your shield works and come up with a plan on how to take out Monk Mao. Hmm. I'm going to ask my divine shield. I just suddenly had the idea of, like, what if you talk to it? Hmm. What are your divine attributes? Um, and then I'm going to write, you aren't sure if your divine shield can talk or not. You've studied um, hmm, some of the work of Carl Jung. And he stated in his work that talking to imaginary entities through active imagination can help to unlock the secrets of the unconscious mind. Even if your divine shield can't actually talk. Maybe you'll imagine wise words from your subconscious that will teach you more about your shield's divine attributes. So I want to introduce that as like a interesting like lower point. It's been a minute uh, since I've thought about like the Carl Jung stuff in terms of like storytelling. So let's see what AI Dungeon 2 does with it. I need to know what my shield's attributes are so I can pierce the arrow shot at me, you think to yourself. Your shield begins to glow a bright blue with embellished designs of stars and flowers. Excuse me. You are surprised to see that your question has revealed something about your divine shield. You wonder what the stars and flowers on your divine shield represent. You think to yourself, flowers might represent growth and beauty. Let me make sure I like space that out. Stars might represent power 
and light. Maybe my divine attributes are of growth, beauty, power, and light. The combination of those elements creates a rainbow. What if I can use my divine shield to summon powerful rainbow beams. Okay. Right. Yeah. Uh, seems a little girly or whatever, but I think it'll be interesting for sure. Nothing wrong with that. Your bright blue shield begins to glisten and shimmer as if made of a million tiny gems. Just as you think you can see a glimpse of a powerful rainbow forming in the middle of your shield, an arrow pierces your arm. You wince in pain and drop your shield. Whoa, hold on, hold on. I don't need to drop my shield. I'm about to die. <laughs> you need the shield. The shield's the only way to defend against this. Um, you suddenly are overwhelmed with fear. Your adrenaline kicks in. And time seems to slow down. You don't have much time to react. Monk Mao is notching another demon arrow on his Hellfire bow. You have milliseconds to figure out your next move. The only thing that can deflect a demon arrow is a divine shield. You either need to pick up your divine shield or Try to aim dodge Monk Mao's next shot. Aim dodging involves looking at where your opponent is aiming and trying to dodge out of the way at the last second. You have to quickly decide if you're fast enough to aim dodge or if you need to quickly dive down and grab your shield. Okay, so things are getting bad. Just when I thought I was about to unlock my power, <laughs> I got shot and dropped my shit. That's like the worst thing that could happen. What? So it did a thing that said zero comments, 10 views, zero, but it gave me like a, a post reading or something. And then it said, you can't wait any longer. You have to drop your sword and scoop up your shield. Well, I don't have a sword. Let me hit retry on that because that was a weird response. You think about how your muscles ache from training. You've been getting weaker in your old age, or at least you're weaker than you were in your youth. How old am I? Yeah. <laughs> and I like how I still haven't come to a decision. Like, now I'm thinking about how, like, I'm not as, like, strong as I used to be. Taking into consideration... Well, hold on. You take into consideration how slow you've become with age. You don't think you'll necessarily be fast enough to grab your shield or aim dodge the arrow. You believe that your only option would be to summon a new shield as soon as possible. 
you focus on your faith in your divine nature and attempt to summon another divine shield to block the incoming demon arrow. Okay. So let's see, we gotta go with option three. You find a second shield, bright red this time, with fiery design swirling around the edges. Seconds after summoning your second shield, you feel an explosion of pain in your leg. A thrill of agony runs through your entire body as you collapse to the floor. Goodness. Hmm. Hmm. You are surprised that you're not dead yet. The other people around you who were hit by deflected demon arrows were immediately incinerated. You believe that your faith in your divine nature has helped you to survive what otherwise would be instant death. You've already taken a shot to the arm and a shot to the leg by demon arrows. You don't think you'll be able to survive another arrow you need to act fast. With an injured leg, there's no way that you'll be able to charge Monk Mal. So you'll have to take him down with some kind of long-ranged attack. You notice that your second divine shield has a different divine attribute from your first. Let's see. You wonder if your divine attribute shifts depending on Hmm, how close you are to death. You ask your divine shield. Please fire a cone of blazing flame to knock Monk Mal prone so that I may pass this test and preserve my life. Okay. So let's see how this goes. This has been really suspenseful. Um, and I really like how it's been going. It's a very like simple premise. It's not even really a fight. It's like a test. But it's like a life or death test. Your divine shield grows that. Your divine shield glows brightly, and then a cone of flame erupts out of it. The flame is incredibly hot, like standing too close to a blast furnace. Monk Mao is struck by the cone of flame and goes flying head over heels. Excuse me. I'm going to ask Master Tam. Master Tam, I have knocked Monk Mao to the ground. Is that sufficient? Have I passed the test? Hmm. You hope that Master Tam will accept <laughs> what you've done as victory. Well, I guess as passing the test. You're not sure how much longer you can keep up this fight against Monk Mao. 
considering that your arm and your leg have both been injured by demonic arrows. Yeah, so this is like pretty intense. Um, I'm getting into it. I wasn't sure how much I was gonna like this uh, like scenario that I wrote for myself, but I really like it. Master Tam stares at you blankly. You have done nothing. Monk Mao is still on his feet, and I'm fairly certain that your shield is about to disappear. You will have to do much better than that if you want to pass this test. Hmm. You quickly realize that Monk Mao has already recovered from your attack and is getting ready to notch another arrow, <laughs> another demon arrow in his Hellfire bow. You attempt to quickly grab your other divine shield and use both of your divine shields to protect yourself. You proclaim divine shield dual wield. Fire and light. Oh, I could have called it like fire and light barricade. Um, I was thinking there needs to be like a noun after fire and light, like just another thing. Oh, I put dual wield as like dual like a fight instead of dual wield as in wielding two things. I am kind of in a duel. Two more divine shields appear in your hands. Wait, what? So now I have four divine shields? You attempt to use them to block the next two incoming demon arrows. The first divine shield takes the hit for you and is destroyed in the process. The second one deflects the arrow away from hitting you and it ends up hitting Master Tam instead. Hmm. You only meant to pick up the other divine shield that you had dropped. In the process, you manifested two new shields. You now are wielding three divine shields at once. You had no idea that you could even summon more than one divine shield at the start of this test. And now you are wielding three. While your body feels weak and injured, your confidence in yourself and faith in your divine nature are stronger than ever. You, you threaten Master Tam. If this test keeps going, not only will I pass, but you will be incinerated by master, well not by master, by Monk Mao's demon arrows. Pass me now, or burn to ash. Okay. So, I may be feeling weak and tired, but I'm feeling myself now. I, I don't know, I'm doing like some next level stuff. Master Tam's eyes grow wide with fear. He doesn't say anything else, but instead fumbles to unlock the door. When the door is open enough, you walk out of it. You've passed the, oh sorry, you've passed the test and proven your worth as a future member of the council. Says Master Tam. Hey, 
So apparently when you pass the test, Master Tam unlocks a door and he lets you leave. Interesting. So we were like inside of a location or something? Maybe not. We could still have been outside in the opening of the doors to go inside kind of thing. I'm going to bow to Master Tam and Monk Mao. You say to them both, Thank you. I am honored to join the council. You then approach your friend Jane and say, I did it! I beat Monk Mao. Jane hugs you, exclaiming, I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you. You think about your future in the council. You wonder if you'll be able to handle whatever dangerous task that will be required of you. Hey, I got four minutes left. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> so um, I'm going to say to Jane, no problem. Your support helped me through it. I am glad to have you as a close friend. You then ask uh, Master Tam, what is my position on the council? And what are my duties? Also, um, I need to get healed. <laughs> like, I'm still weak and injured. Master Tam smiles and says, You are one of the most powerful and skilled mages that I know. You will be a great asset to the council. Your primary duty, if you choose to accept it, is to protect the council from any external or internal threats. Excuse me. Then it has Jane saying, What is Jane saying? Let's keep the story going. While you were a full member of the council, I think it would be best if you got some rest here for a few days so that I can keep an eye on your recovery. Interesting. Master Tam laughs and says, do, 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 a, do, 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 do. Hey, dun, dun. I can't tell if Jane's flirting or not with that last comment. <laughs> She's right. You just passed a very difficult test, and your body is probably hurting all over. Relax here with us, and when you are feeling better, then you can help us prepare for the hunt. Oh, wait, sorry. For the next Hunt Toys invasion. I'm going to say, you're both right. My arm and leg do need immediate medical attention. The adrenaline has helped me to power through the pain. But once that passes, I am sure it will be excruciated. Let's see. Oops, here we go. And then I'm going to ask Master Tam. I can space this out a little bit, yeah. Could you tell me more about the Hun Toys invasion? Yeah, because that's interesting. We got like a named event. Like if this got a sequel, it would likely be about like the Hunt Toys Invasion. I got 38 seconds. <laughs> okay, what can we learn um, about the Hunt Toys Invasion? No, <laughs> it did the thing where Master Tam just says something but doesn't complete it. I have 24 seconds, hit enter. What's the Hunt Toys Invasion, my guy? 
Hit me up on that Huntoys invasion. The invasion of the Huntoys. What is it? It's going to be like a cliffhanger. The Huntoys arrived on the shores of our island nation a few years ago. They are a race of warlike humanoids that enjoy fighting and engaging in battle for its own sake. Ooh. Well, that's it. We hit the 30 minute timer. Bye boy. If you guys would like to see more of this adventure, definitely let me know in the comment section below and on our Discord. The way that I handle video requests is that if you guys have like an idea for a video, if you want to see me like play a game, or if you want to see like a sequel to a video I've done, like if you'd like to see like a part two of this, uh, hit me up on Discord and let's talk about it. If I'm down to do your video idea, then I'll charge you $7 per hour length of the video that you want me to make. So for a one hour video, $7, two hours, $14, three hours, $21, etc., etc. So definitely that. So definitely hit me up on Discord if you guys have an idea for a video that you want to see made real. And if you guys just want to support the channel, you guys can hit me up on Cash App. Uh, feel free to donate as much or as little as you want on Cash App. Uh, any and all donations are appreciated. Uh, when it comes to the content on the channel, you guys are the real sponsors. Thank you all for tuning in. If you guys like AI Dungeon 2 videos, make sure you subscribe because I do them every day. This is your host, your friend, your boy, Jet Black One Only, logging out. Peace, guys. Check it out.